Hello everybody, and welcome to Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Kill the rest of his crew. Make them suffer. Now what did I just tell you? Got him. We'll never, never leave this. Agree? We can fight. Now come. Oh, you can probably do wield axes. Okay, sail home to Fornberg. After I see our king. That I do not advise. Not yet. He is meeting with a messenger from the north. Seeing my father's axe after 17 winters, it stirred something in me to speak with Valka. She could help me make sense of my feelings. Take your time getting settled. I will see you at the longhouse. Oh, a lot of obsidian. So can you like turn the iron ore into iron ingots for upgrades? Or you just have to find the ingots in like the uh, chests. Can you not climb on ice? What the hell? Actually, I guess that makes sense. What is up with the birds? Why are they flying at five frames a second? Uh, where can I jump? I guess just back down. Also, I really gotta be careful <laughs> in a uh, in Assassin's Creed Odyssey. I really early on unlocked the skill where you can like fall forever and not take any fall damage. You gotta remember he doesn't have that. <laughs> ah! What's happening? Ah, what? I, <laughs> no, let me go. <laughs> the fuck? Yeah, almost fell on a sand trap. You know, I probably could have taken the horse. I wonder if that would have been easier. Hello? Hamuram. Hamuram. Valka? Yes. I need silence to hear the songs of nature. Hamuram. Hamuram. Svala. She gives praises and she is greeted. For your hearing. O oh, ancient ones, great Odin, great Freya, I give you thanks for your gift of Seder. She gives thanks and she is blessed. Eivor, it has been some time. What brings you so far to see me? I... I have come for your advice on a private matter. Come. Oh, that smoke. Her mind is a jumble. She speaks to spirits. I fear her final winter has come, but she has me. Now, let us speak to your needs. I have had a vision, a powerful vision. It may have been my battle lost or a delirium caused by the cold, but describe it for me. After 17 years, I saw my father's axe again. And when I touched it, the vision came on fast. There was a wolf howling in fears. And then a figure, a gray beard in a cloak with a single eye. That's Odin. He bid me follow him. Ah, the high one. How did you see a single eye? He calls to you. Perhaps he means to speak with you. Deliver a message. Only through Seder will you see more clearly and unravel the threats that sit tangled upon your mind. This will not take long. Uh. What are you brewing? An elixir to loosen your hugur and unwind your thoughts. You will enter a waking sleep. 
and journey to the world of dreams. It may confuse or disorient you, but you must take note of all you see. Okay. Am I going on a mind trip? True understanding. You could have just poisoned me, you know. Odin? Is that you? Huh? I saw nothing, Valka. Felt nothing. Oh, is that Valka? Skull. I walk among the dead. Is that, is that a wolf? Sigurd. Sigurd. Brother, when did you arrive? There we come back. Where'd the wolf go? Did you not listen to what the uh, uh, Sarah was telling you? Order. Does Odin keep turning into a wolf or something? Did Odin bite me when I was a child? What happened to you? Or was I following him or Odin? You idiot, it's supposed to be a finger, not the entire arm. Who's Javi? Oh. Is that a dragon? The fuck was that? Steady, Eivor. It is Valka. I am here. Gods, I thought I... What was that? Tell me everything. I, I, I was on a mountain in a, in a violent blizzard, climbing toward the summit, following a, a wolf. Mm -hmm. Um. I saw Odin and the Nornir spinning the threads of fate. They were watching me. Mm, not watching. They were showing you the way forward. Your life, your path, what lies before you, and where it ends. And the wolf was eager for my attention, as if it were beckoning me to follow. You are the wolf kissed, fated to carry its mark for life. In this case, it might represent your ambition or your fear. I saw the gates to Odin's Hall of Slain Champions. They opened for me. Shades of Valhalla, for which you are destined. I do not know what else to say. M my memories are faint, hazy. Did you reach the summit of this mountain? I did, yes. Sigurd was there, wounded, in pain. His fighting arm was missing. The 
Then the wolves reappeared, the size of a dragon, twisted and terrible. It fixed its eyes on me and struck. Then I awoke. The gods favor you, Eivor. They always have. You will have your glory, and you will earn your place in Valhalla. But these portents carry a darker truth. The missing arm, the trail of blood, the beast. You will betray your brother, Sigurd. That is the meaning of your vision. That cannot be right. I would never betray Sigurd. He's my brother, my family. The Nordnir have spoken, and this is their message. No, this is wrong. Oh, you misunderstand. That cannot be right. You will betray Sigurd. Odin fought against his fate. It can be done. Okay, I guess I'm going to betray him at some point. Quest completed. You have my horse? Ooh, two points. I really want that stomp ability, so I'm going for it. Okay, can I fast travel back? Let's see how long this takes. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 12 seconds, not bad. I'm gonna do the, I'm gonna be doing that so much. I'm gonna accidentally kill someone. They must be finished now. The king has called for his best mead, so the talks are concluded. It should be safe to enter. I'm ready I'll to go. face the thunder. I will speak with the king now. Is Thorn there? I will take this proposal to my nephew. I believe he will see the wisdom in it. Good. It is all I can hope for. May the... What? May the winds favor your voyage, Guthormer. No. What were you about to say? Eivor, come forward. And explain in plain words why you have willfully disobeyed my commands. Do you mock me? I do not mock you, King. I mean to embolden you against your enemies and your own poor judgment. You know nothing of my judgment. You know nothing of my plans and strategies. Sigurd would agree with me. My son might agree with you, but he would obey me. He knows his place. Not as well as he knows his father. Imagine you are harassed by an enemy with warriors that vastly outnumber your own. What profit does open war bring? Would it not be better to work quietly through diplomacy, gaining alliances, waiting until the day our numbers outweigh our enemies and our victory is guaranteed? Kyoto and his clan will never negotiate with us. They speak the language of war. So we must answer back. I have waited a lifetime to take back the honor that Kyotwe took from my family. Now is the time to act. My time to act. Are you so blinded by vengeance that you cannot see beyond your nose? Is that all? I'm at a loss with you, Eivor. When I took you in as my own, never did I imagine such disrespect from the child of Eren. Your father was a fine man, just and loyal to me. He died bravely so that we might live. He died a coward, Lord. A fate I will not mirror. Why do you carry such a useless burden? Let it go. Think only of the days to come, of your future and the victories at hand. My honor has been stained until it's wiped clean. I want nothing else. Refuse to pick at that wound again. If there is something that can chase these shadows from your thoughts. Oh. Sigurd has come. Down oh. the docks. His ship is here. 
Thought that was a war cry. That was a fast quest. The Prodigal Prince. I'm guessing Sigurd's the prince. Kingdoms in your beard. It's just the start. Randvi, my dear. Are these two married? Your husband returns. Not her, I meant me and this guy. And riches to share. And new friends, I see. Yes. Basim and Hytham. We met in Miklagant, and they showed me her buried secrets. We are grateful to Sigurd for his invitation and eager to pay tribute to your king. My brother is always very careful with the company he keeps. You're standing safely beside him. He must like you. Ah, Eivor. Save the introductions until our bellies are full. I will see my father. Tell him of my time away. This morning we traded with a ship passing south. I think I know where this is going. The was captured by Kyrtle's men. They must have cut the tail short. I killed my captors and recovered my crew. And for that, your father scolded me. You know where I stand, brother. Nothing short of war will dislodge Kyotve from our lands. But he disagrees. I know. I know. Father thinks too much and acts too little. Today, that changes. I promise you. By the winter's end, the name Kyotve the crew will be a curse on the lips of a drunken fool. Okay. Really quickly, I'm going to theorize what's going on here in case I get this right. I want to skip a couple seconds ahead. The king is a Templar. Sigurd's a Templar. Those obviously were assassins that came with him. They came to kill the king. Don't know how Eivor will become an assassin, but might be soon. My son, welcome home. Father. Tonight we feast and celebrate your return, Sigurd. The tables are laid with barley and lamb, bread and mead. And no more, I beg you. I want nothing you would not serve a thrall. Let me be the one to honor you. I bring gifts and tales from faraway lands. After two winters away, I am full up with both. Very well, very well. Come inside. And when we are fat and satisfied, father, we will talk of Kyotve and his clan, and how we may end their terror once and for all. He has dogged us too long, shamed us for too many seasons. I know this. Eivor knows this. It ends now. Yes, of course, when the time is right. Through Rusland, we barreled down the Volga River, raiding as we went, shadowy tribes hurling spears at our ship. At Miklagard, we saw men bedecked in riches as vibrant as the Bivrest itself. All right, listen to the tale. These we took for our troubles, of course. We sailed to Rome, then Africa, past oceans of sand, warriors of all colors, and beauty the eyes must weep to behold. And now I have returned. Are there anything else? Glory to share with my family, my friends, my eyes hordes. I'll say here. So take what you desire from my horn. For this, this is only a taste of things to come. Tomorrow, the Raven Clan starts a new skull, Sigurd. Skull! And you, Eivor, come. I have something special for you. Hang on, I'm eating this. What's in this all on this plate? The plate is through the table. <laughs> Is that honeycomb, tomatoes, a really big egg or potato, and then meat? There are others to speak with. Okay. You hang on, Sigurd. People want to talk to me. Hello, King. Sigurd has raised the reputation of this clan to new heights, Lord. 
We could not have asked for a more joyous return. Oh, but we could have. Had Sigurd spent his last two winters here, in Fornberg, defending our lands, we might have been rid of Kjotve by now. You always said we needed more warriors to fight Kjotve. And for warriors, we need wealth, which Sigurd has brought us. The wealth he brings will not buy us an army. It only buys us time before our end. You talk like a man with one foot in Helheim. Have you no plan of your own to rid this land of our enemy? Or will it fall to Sigurd and me? I do, but it will fall to you and Sigurd to accept it. And I must have your word that you will. If you so order it, my king, it will be done. You have my axe until the end. Hmm. We shall see. Okay. Hello. Eivor, have you paid a visit uh. to Volka? I did. Um? It is not something I can speak on. Did you put that oh, mug in your I pocket? Understand. Your bed will be warm tonight if your husband returned. That must be a good feeling. It is a different feeling. Warmer, but with less space to stretch my arms and legs. Are you not happy to see your husband returned? Of course. But it has been so long he seems a stranger to me. For three winters we are married and he has been away for two. Can you not rekindle the flame that once burned hot? When he crawls into bed to warm me, as you say, it will be with farts and honeyed breath. Sounds nice. We should all be so lucky. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, <coughs> assassin. Python, is it? Yes. And you are Eivor. I am. Are you supposed to be, have something oh, in your hand? Ruckus does not overwhelm you. We tend to drink and talk at equal speed. Not at all. The wood smoke from your fire pit does sting the eyes, but the warmth is welcome. Of course. It must be rather warm where you live. Where I live changes from week to week, but always I am with my mentor, Basim. Your mentor? For what cause? A noble one. A cause as true as the world is old. But let us leave it at that for now. I understand. <laughs> but if you hope to stay tight-lipped for the rest of the night, keep clear of Tekla's mead. Ah, thank you for the warning. It will not be a problem. What are you eating? What's in your hand? Okay, nothing. Hello. You are Basim. You have a good memory. And you have no meat. Can I fix that? Sigurd spoke often of you on our journey. Called you his right arm. A celebrated warrior. I am honored to meet you. Likewise, Basim. And how did you come to meet my brother? He sat down in Constantinople some months ago to rest and resupply, he told me. But I knew otherwise. Men with eyes that gleam like his are always up to something more. I think he wished to raid the Hajj of Sophia. That sounds right. I will not bore you with the details of our meeting, but I liked your brother from the first. I saw something in him that captivated me. As if a forgotten memory of an old friendship had suddenly resurfaced. He has that effect on people. Enjoy your evening, Basim. Okay. Okay, Sigurd. Let's talk. I thought long and hard on a gift worthy of you. You've snared my curiosity, brother. What is it? Not yet. Drinks first. I thought the gift was drinks. My first night in Fornberg in over two winters. It must end with me soaked and wall-eyed, shouting at the shadows of trolls. And you want me to sail with you in these honey waves? Yes. You are stuck with me, Dringu. Now drink. <laughs> oh, you would put Thor to shame. Kind of looks like Thor. From drinking to breathing, you turn everything into a competition, brother. I must always be prepared. <laughs> True enough. It is good to have you back, Sigurd. I wonder how many people are gonna try and make Eivor look like Thor. When I first met Basim, I regaled him with tales of our homeland. And it was then I felt a hard longing to return at once. Hey, 
Uh oh, hello. They're conspiring in the corner. This brings us to your gift. These excellent men were my shepherds through much of their homeland, the Abbasid Caliphate. They are a clan not joined by blood, but by a common idea. A brotherhood of shadows executing their own form of justice. In my time with them, they shared many of their most hidden secrets, for which I am grateful. And now, I gift one of these secrets to you. A weapon for the finest warrior I know. Okay. Python is not amused, it seems. Am I not worthy of this gift? It is not about worth, Eivor. It is a matter of devotion to our creed and... And training, please. Mentor, I must protest. This is deeply unorthodox. Our wrist plate is a sacred Do tool. Do not make a fetish out of cold metal, Haifam. What matters is the mind of the one who wields it. Please, try it on. The blade should ride on the underside of your arm to conceal it from your target. I have no wish to hide this. And I would rather not make the same mistake you two have. <laughs> All right. I like it. Doesn't seem like it's long enough. This is a voluntary sacrifice to prove our devotion to a good start, Eivor. But you must learn how to use it effectively. Outside, this is not something for all eyes. Do you have one? Hidden blade. It seems like you have to bend your wrist like all the way like that in order to hit. This clan of yours, it has a name? Indeed. But among the tenets of our creed is a vow to never reveal too much to outsiders. You just gave me a hidden blade. They learn more. Not here, where the walls and trees may have ears. I look forward to it. Here. Let me lead you through our most basic techniques. Wielded with skill and care, our blade delivers a singular killing blow. As you near your target, find your window to strike. Timing is essential. Uh, uh, yeah. Excellent. I have not seen a blade so sharp. Some targets are trickier than others. Keep that in mind before you strike. A decent attempt. Shut up. Uh, do I keep going? Oh. Can I climb? Uh, yeah. Don't know how you really grab him. How about a challenge? Leap down upon that target from above. I really like the design of the blade on top. But it seems like it could break a lot easier. Exactly, just like that. Use your surroundings when possible. Strike from that haystack, for instance. A perfect strike. Why are they all highlighted? Mentor, does Avon intend to join us? Not that I am aware. Then why offer him the blade? Surely we have more. Hey, look, I could do this by myself. Hush. You wield the blade well. Let's Thank you. Leave Eivor to enjoy his gift in peace. Come. Do you just want me to keep assassinating? Eivor, I could do that. Let us walk to the docks and take in the night air. How'd you get back up? <laughs> okay. What do you make of my new friends? They seem generous and menacing in equal measure. I know what you mean. And they have learning to do. They wield numbers and writing as if it were magic. Basim has shown me so much about the world, all of which I will share with you when the time is right. So do you know about them? Oh, I miss the smell of this land. Have you returned for good? Or do you mean to join this shadow brotherhood? Leave all that aside, Eivor. Tonight we are family again. 
The here and now is what matters. Our kinship, our clan, our glory. I missed you, brother. Your clear head and your courage. We have not had enough of both in recent months. You flatter me, Wolfkist. Keep it up. From here to Valhalla, I will always be on your side, Sigurd. Always. Except for when I have to betray you. grown too small to contain me, or I too large. There is so much more beyond these stony fangs that rise around us. England, Ireland, Francia, all greener pastures, ripe for the plucking. Tomorrow, we make new war on Kyrthe, and reclaim the lands he took from us. And from there, we build a kingdom for us. I'm with you. Only say the word. Good. Get some rest, and return here at first light. Completed the prodigal prince. So maybe my theory is a bit wrong. The Northmir have spoken. You will betray. No, Sigurd. this is wrong. That cannot be right. Ah! Odin fought against his fate. It can be done. Ah! You will betray, Sigurd. Oh. Okay. Rude awakening. Oh wait, I got the points. Can I get the stomp? Yes! So when they fall on the ground, press right stick to stomp on their face. Find and kill all of Ketchup's spies. I don't know how to pronounce the guy's name. No, oh, no, you're not a spy. Who are you? Let's see you, old friend. Ah. So does this just give you like the general area now of like where to find them? Got him. The hell is that guy doing? Sigurd, there's people here. Help me kill them all. Unless there's only those three. 